Learn how you can help fuel the adventures by visiting www.primal-outdoors.com and clicking on Ways to Support. heading up into the mountains we're actually headed to a little lake I don't know much about this lake I'm just kind of in between uh, spending some time visiting my folks and heading back over to Western Oregon to pick up the Kia uh, and I'm also going to be dropping the Ford off at Wonderlust to have some work done there uh, we're getting something for the Ford that many of you guys have been telling me I've needed for a long time I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag quite yet but uh, we'll definitely do a video on it. Um, and also speaking of the Ford, I want to give a big shout out to Gresham Ford in Gresham, Oregon for fixing the Ford's air conditioning. Uh, the condenser had ate itself, destroyed a bunch of components. Uh, it was going to be very expensive to fix and Gresham Ford's uh, stepped up, took the Ford in and fixed it all up and got my air conditioning going really well. So. If you're in the uh, Gresham or Portland area and you got a Ford and you need service on it, definitely give Gresham Ford a check and talk to Ryan and let him know that you uh, saw it on the Primal Outdoors channel. So, But like I said, we are heading up to this lake. Um, it looks like there might be a Forest Service campground. I don't know if it's a paid campground, non-paid campground. I don't know if there's going to be a bunch of people there. It is the middle of the week, so I'm hoping not. But if it looks okay and, and, and nice, we'll camp there for tonight. If not, we'll just um, uh, we'll just go ahead and find somewhere else to camp in the National Forest. But we are getting late, it's pushing seven o'clock, so we need to get on the stick. so we've gotten to the lake and it's really nice it's a really beautiful little lake up here in the mountains uh, this is a public fee camping spot it's only eight bucks so I think I'm gonna go ahead and splurge and pay the dollars uh, mainly because of the fact there's nobody else up here it's just me and the dogs and they do have potable water here and a bathroom and uh, trash services so that's really nice so I think I'm gonna take advantage of it Plus, I think also, you know, like I said, the lake's very beautiful. I think there's a real great opportunity for a landscape photo, uh, maybe in the morning when I have some more time. So yeah, I'm gonna go get the truck, uh, go get the trailer and everything situated and get set up for the night. So I'm taking the trailer off mainly because I like my head to be just a little bit elevated and since my head is at the uh, front of the trailer um, I'm going ahead and just basically taking the trailer off so that I can use the jack to elevate uh, sorry a few mosquitoes here but uh, elevate the top of the trailer a little bit or the front of the trailer a little bit so that I can be just at a slight uh, head up angle. camp I probably normally wouldn't put the awning out but just for the fact that uh, we are have a little thread of rain and it has sprinkled on me a little bit on and off throughout the day I figured it only takes a couple minutes to put out the CVT awning uh, and so it's well worth it to me to make sure that I have a dry place to cook and everything dinner tonight just in case it was to start to rain on us Thank you. 
All right, guys, well, we're starting to get dinner ready here. Um, I kind of rushed around getting camp set up. Uh, we are starting to get dark, and I just wanted to get everything kind of set up so I could get dinner going and relax a little bit. So not too bad, uh, not too bad and set up. The trailer makes things super easy. Just uh, basically, you know, pull a couple things out of the cabin, set the stove out, and uh, we're pretty well done. I am glad I set the awning up because it has been just sprinkling just a little bit here and there on us. So it's nice to, again, have the space under the awning to be able to cook and do things. And then of course this awning uh, from CVT comes built in with a track of LEDs. So it just kind of makes it nice uh, for some quick lights and uh, be able to see what I'm doing here. So for dinner tonight, we're just having some Johnsonville brats. Uh, we're gonna mix in some vegetables and, uh, and some rice and it should be real easy and uh, tasty as well. So we're gonna get to that. good adding that little bit of um, chicken stock uh, to help uh, soften up the rice because it is like a microwave rice so it's meant to be in the microwave and cooked in the microwave so adding that little bit of chicken stock just really help kind of soften up the rice and it's really good but anyways yeah man so this is the I think the weekend or so after fourth of July I hope you guys all had a great fourth. Um, I had a great time, got to spend some time with some friends, um, camped out, and that was a lot of fun. And then actually before that it was Northwest Overland Rally. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's always fun to see all the gear. And quite honestly, I kind of like Rally more uh, than I like Expo. Expo's great, there's a lot of gear. Uh, it's a great opportunity to see a lot of the different overland uh, gear that's out there, but Rally is just a little bit more personal than, and I'm talking about Northwest Overland Rally up in Plain, Washington. Uh, it's a little more personal. Uh, I feel like you get to meet more people and I feel like you um, tend, have a tendency to kind of walk away with uh, new friends uh, versus, uh, I don't want to say Expo's impersonal, but it's just so big and you're just, there's, you're just rushing to see everything that it's, um, that I just don't feel like it's as personal as Northwest Northwest Overland Rally, but you do have to kind of watch uh, watch out for uh, who you run into out there. Oh, Casey, oh, Casey. what's going on? Yeah, Kitey Works. How's it going? Good to see you, man. Yeah, it's been a little while. It has. It has. You've been off I adventure know, all like... over the place. Yeah, I, yeah. And you've been uh, checking out some cool homesteads. Yeah, yeah. You still even in Oregon? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> So you're on the road full time now. I am on the road full time now. And you're doing the you got the Kia, the tell you ride. I got the, the Kia. Yeah, I got the Kia, the trailer, and I still mix in the Ford, you know, and the, the, the Kia is you kind of a six truck. Yes, the Kia is just nice. a six month contract. So you kind of mix it up. So here at Overland uh, Northwest Overland Rally, I actually have both of them here. Wonderlust oh. has the Kia and I have the Ford. Excellent. So excellent. Where's the Jeep at? The Jeep is over on the far side. I set up a nice camp in the Hampton Inn down in Leavenworth. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're, you're Bear Grylls camping, huh? I'm Bear Grylls camping, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice, right, nice. Well, I can understand. This is uh, this type of camping is a little uh, tight quartered for sure. It is, it's definitely not, not my style. I mean, I enjoy hanging, it's really mellow. I enjoy hanging out with the people. One of my favorite things to do is to just walk the aisles and check out everybody's camps, everybody's different setups. Yeah, so. no, I've seen some really cool, uh, a lot of people have a lot of really cool camps. I think that's almost just as fun as looking, going through the vendor areas. It and is looking for at the me, thing. definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So what's kind of like you've been? I've I've just kind of gotten here, so I haven't had really a chance to look around. What have you been, you've been here for a day? What have you seen that's pretty yeah, cool? Yeah, there. I mean, there's the usual good group of vendors. A lot of you know really solid gear. Just good. Most of the vendors here are overland guys too. They're out doing kind of the same stuff we do, at least to some degree. Should we show the guys a little bit of stuff, or should we just keep showing them the bathrooms? I mean, the bathrooms are nice. Yeah, they were pretty nice. You know, I felt like uh, they were well maintained yeah. and. Uh, and I couldn't smell you from my, my side over there. No. <laughs> Big shout out to Apple Valley Pumping Service. Yeah, yeah. not sponsored. Not but, sponsored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's take a little we'll walk around. We'll, we'll show we'll... everybody the show. Good yeah. to see you, man. Yeah, good to see you. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Anyways, all joking aside, uh, Rally and Overland Expo are both a lot of fun. If you get the opportunity to go to either one of them, I think you'll uh, really enjoy yourself But anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my dinner uh, The dogs have already been fed and I went ahead and threw them in the camp trailer Which is where they like to be in the evening anyways um, Just to make sure that if it did rain anymore it has stopped at the moment, which is nice But in case it does rain anymore uh, I would they won't get all wet and mucky before I put them to bed, but you know, I'm just gonna like I said, I'm gonna eat enjoy my fire and uh, I'll catch you guys in the morning nice morning uh, it's a bit overcast still uh, you know so kind of flat lighting I, ch I did try to shoot a couple photos early this morning when I first got up but um, the skies are kind of flat I'm I think I'd like to come back here and and stay and and shoot when maybe we got some clear skies or at least where there's a little bit more broken clouds but still all in all just a really nice morning to be out um, it's hard to believe that you know, eight dollars is all I had to spend. Eight bucks to basically have sit here and have this lake to myself, and um, you know, just having a nice evening out. You don't, uh, you don't get too. There's not too many things you can do for eight dollars, uh, and this is a pretty, pretty inexpensive and enjoyable time. So, anyhow, I, I happen to notice that there looks to be a little bit of a trail around the lake. I might go explore that a little bit. I don't know if it goes all the way around the lake, but it does look like at least uh, it goes a little bit. So maybe I'll take the dogs for um, a little walk there. But um, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice for eight bucks.
of people ask me why I don't share the locations of where I camp, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, you know, main reason is I don't want the locations that I like to go to to get overrun with people. You know, the second, and probably the most important reason, is I feel like discovering these locations on your own is half the fun. Getting out a map and looking at specific landmarks and features that you're interested in, and then coming out and getting boots on the ground and exploring them is, I think, really half the fun of an adventure like this. You know, this lake is a perfect example. You know, nobody told me about this lake. I just knew that I was gonna be traveling through this area and it would be a good, probably a good place in here somewhere to camp. So I just started looking at the maps. I found this lake, figured out the road system, and then navigated my way in here. Now, not every time when you go do this are you gonna find a great location, but it just makes when you do that much better. You know, a lot of people, I feel like when it comes to outdoor skill sets, put uh, fire making and shelter building at top of the list, but really, in my opinion, those are bottom rung compared to being able to read a map and navigate. So, anyhow, uh, me and the dogs, we're gonna continue up this trail. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, comments really do help. And if you really enjoyed it, sharing it on your, one of your favorite social media sites or outdoor forums would really help the channel. But until the next one, we'll see you guys again outside.